you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another, like, nine videos today, boys. We're back with another Ultimate Team video. This is probably the ninth video I've recorded today, although, like, four or five of them are set to post tomorrow. I got some for today. I got some for today. Sorry, I'm tired. I've been playing solo challenges for like five hours straight i finished the gauntlet got the rewards up boys i got this going but guys you know what time it is it's mutt 10 time they have announced the mutt 10 card and guys this one is a banger i'm super hype guys they dropped randy moss randy moss probably the greatest receiver to ever play the game athleticism wise not the greatest receiver statistical wise Probably Jerry Rice, or it is Jerry Rice, but athleticism-wise and potential-wise, Randy Moss at the top of his game, he's a monster, he's tall, he can catch, he's fast as hell. Everything about him is great. By the way, if you're wondering why I'm in these solo challenges, it's because I've been playing the same solo challenge for like an hour or two. But grinding out those levels, guys, I'm super hyped for this Randy Moss. The thing with Randy Moss, though, is he's probably going to be upwards of 3 million coins. You probably won't be able to see him for at least quite a while. Maybe at the end of this, I'll open up a few... Uh, Get a goal as possibly for him. I don't really know yet. But guys, I'm super hyped for this card. I'm going to go over to the stats on Twitter in a second, guys. Before we get into this video, make sure to go down below. Hit that subscribe button, boys. I have like five videos up today. I'm grinding I'm grinding right now. Just go hit the like button. Show some love. It's been a rough day. Let's get this video to 200 likes. Comment down below if you plan to pull packs for this Randy Moss or you're going to save your coins and just know that you're never going to get them. Guys, Make sure to turn on that noti bell also to get notified when I post videos just like this, time sensitive videos. Now, one thing you guys do want to be on the lookout for before I go show you guys um, your stats and stuff, you're going to want to come over to the auction block around 4-ish when he first drops. When he starts getting pulled out of packs, wide receivers are going to come down in value. Let's start with the 92.93. Let me see the wide receiver market. I don't think there's no wide receivers here. Okay, I had a feeling. Let's see what the wide receivers are looking like because typically when they release a Mutt 10 card, wide receivers go down. Wow, Cameron Jordan shoot. All right, wide receivers. So far, Jerry Rice is only 240, but I imagine when the game officially drops this Randy Moss and he goes into the game, typically he kills the market for his position. So far, it's not looking too bad. Julio might come down a little bit, as I think will some of these guys here, like Odell and DeAndre Hopkins. I don't know how much they'll come down, but time will tell. We'll know in a little bit, in a short amount of time, when he does officially drop at, remember, 4 p.m. Eastern time, he does go live into the game. I'm recording this now a little early, so I can have this out to you guys as soon as possible. But remember, when Bo Jackson came out, killed the market for halfbacks when michael vick came out killed the whole market in general because it's michael vick if randy moss is a banger which stat wise which i know he's going to be when i check him out i know for a fact that people are going to be spamming packs for him and uh, obviously people are spamming packs for him most likely the market's going to go down a little bit so guys let's head over to twitter real quick in a second to go check out his stats i'm gonna do a quick prediction i don't know his stats i'm hoping for at least a 90 speed threshold catching good route running and I believe he's, what is he, 6'3 or 6'4? I forget sometimes. Let's go over to Twitter. All right, guys, so we got the Randy Moss Mutt 10 92 overall card. Now, this makes me upset that I did not do those solo challenges because now I cannot get a free one. You guys don't know, in one of my videos, actually live on camera, I went to go show you guys to remember to do your solo challenges. And I remember that I was away that week, busy, and I never actually did the solo challenge. So I was really pissed off, kind of upset because now I can't get a guy like Randy Moss. But let's go into his stats. That's his archetype right there. I couldn't tell you what that is. It looks like a go deep type archetype. Uh, archetype. I don't really know what that is. The salary cap hits 55 for all you salary cap guru kind of guys. I do not dwell into salary cap, uh, although I probably should at some point, but you guys probably do, at least a decent amount of you guys. A limited time can obviously be powered up. Oh, oh my God, he gets a power up card. We're getting Randy Moss today. Okay, I'll get into that afterwards. But guys, Randy Moss, six foot four, 92 overall beast. He's got 91 speed. 92 jumping okay right there. that's all you need to know he's a speed demon and he can jump and he's six foot four that is going to be a beat right there. that's all you need to know he's got 90 catching hits threshold ca threshold catching catching traffic 87 if you power this card up and you chem him up he will have threshold catching traffic threshold spec catch at 91 he has 92 deep route running so he has threshold deep route running 86 medium route running and 85 short route running this card as a whole is a complete monster all around he can catch, he can route run, he's fast, he's tall. Like usually when you have a really tall receiver, his speed's a little bit lower, or usually his jumping's a little bit lower, or his route running's not too good, he has it all. This card is an overall beast. Now what really matters is what's his spin and juke move. That's gonna matter too as on top of this card, because obviously that's important for open field running. But guys, I'm really upset that I did not do that solo challenge. That is going to limit how much 
to allow me to play I can even get. This would have been cool to have had this in a few weeks, but I'm going to go play that solo challenge anyways to get his power up. I have some more advice for you guys on that, but guys, the short route running and medium route running is a little bit lower than I'd like to see, but, but it's not too bad because typically with Randy Moss, you're going deep with him. You're going over the middle. You're not really doing short, but even then it's still pretty good. But that, that combination right there, that 91 speed, six foot four frame. That's all you need to know about a card. He's going to be, I think, is he the fastest receiver in the game, right? Right there with Marquise Brown in them, except he has catching stats. This card's going to be unstoppable. Like, I'm actually scared to get matched up with him. I don't know. I don't think there's a cornerback that could cover him. He's going to be faster than every single cornerback, even Darius Slay. If you chem this guy up, you powered him up, put Sprinter and John Madden on him, he probably can get to like a 93 speed. This is crazy. This Randy Moss is going to break the game. If I get matched up with him in the weekend league, I'm probably just going to have to quit at that point. There's really no point, guys. Let's head on over back to the Madden screen in about a second, and we go over a few little pointers and tips that I have for you guys. Stay tuned for that. All right, guys, so we're back on the Madden screen. Now, remember, go play your solo challenge. The first, the first chance you get, go play your solo challenge. Don't forget, I made that mistake, and I'm going to regret it. I already regret it, and I'm going to regret it more when everyone gets their free players. To get to that, you're going to go over here to solo challenges. Screw the gauntlet. I played too much of that today. Come over to Madden Ultimate Team 10. You're going to see the Randy Moss solo challenge. Now, guys, if you know anything about how what happens when these cards first come out, especially guys like Michael Vick. When Michael Vick first dropped, his power up initially was selling for like 50, 60K at the exact moment he came out. Obviously, eventually they go for like 5K. If you guys want to be savvy, which I recommend you do, the second you get into this game, just like Brian Dawkins saw, uh, power up was selling for like 60K. The second that solo challenge opens, play it, shoot clock, finish it as fast as possible, go sell the power up. Go sell it as soon as you can. Make like, you could make probably minimum 20K, maximum 50K, depending on how quickly you sell it or if you pull it. I'd recommend you get that done because that is an easy way to make coins right off the rip. And then you just wait an hour or two until everyone starts pulling him and then you can just buy him back for like seven, five to 10K, depending on how many people actually end up buying him. But guys, I highly recommend you do that. The solo challenges take no longer than like, no longer than 10 to 20 minutes. No longer. If you chew clock properly, you can kill the whole game in about three drives. Two offensive rushing drive. You literally just rush three yards, go down, rush three yards, go down, rush three yards, go down, get the first down, rinse, repeat. It's very simple on how to do it. Now, guys, I highly recommend as a budget version of Randy Moss, you go pick up that power up. I'm starting that power up. He's taking the he's taking the Andre Hopkins spot. Cause look, typically I know how these power up works. They typically have stats minus one with one of their key stats being down like four. So I think that he's going to be six foot four, obviously. They're not going to take away height. He's going to have a 90 speed. He's going to have a 90 speed, which is insane for a wide receiver with those hands. Probably have like a 90 jumping, 89 catching, 85 catching traffic. Probably have an 89 spec catch. And his short route running will probably be like an 83. His medium route running will probably be like an 84. And his deep route running will probably be like an 89. If you put go deep on him, though, you can re-reach that spec catch threshold and that deep route running threshold. So you're going to catch everything right back up. The only thing he's going to be missing out on is probably a little bit of route running and a decent amount of jumping. But other than that, he's going to be a solid receiver for what, like 100K? I'm just going to power down my Patrick Willis because I now have Devin White. I'm going to power down Patrick Willis, put him right into Randy Moss's for training. I think that's the move right there, guys. I highly recommend you go over and do that. You really you really don't want to miss out on this card. I, I'm, I'm, I'm so hyped. You guys don't even understand. You know what's going to be even better? When they drop that Deion Sanders, which is going to suck because then we're not going to be able to afford him for a while. But I don't care. I need. I, when I get that power up, Deion Sanders is going to be over. That card's going to be so crazy. I cannot wait for that card. But for the time, we now have Bo Jackson, Patrick Willis, Michael Vick, and Randy Momo. Randy Momo. I don't know if that's his official nickname, but my French just always call him that. It's kind of how I refer to him. So, guys, checklist. Open the game. Take out your credit card. Rip a thousand packs for him. I'm just kidding. Don't do that. I won't even be doing that. Maybe open some get a golds if you're feeling lucky. I'm not feeling lucky. I never feel lucky. I haven't pulled a limited time in all my years. I'm just going to get his power up, put him into the lineup, feel happy, and then cannot wait to compete in weekend league next week with the brand new new look team. I got a lot of coins. I got to start buying some players. But I'm waiting for Mud Heroes for that. But guys, that is about it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this gave you guys some nice early content to look, look into and enjoy until they do end up dropping the player. He should be dropping at about 4 p.m. Eastern time. Take advantage, guys. I give you I give you my luck. I have no luck, so I actually might decrease your luck, but I'm, I give you whatever luck I can to go pull this card. Good luck pulling him. Good luck on your packs. Don't spam the credit card. Don't spam your parents' credit card. It's not worth it. EA's never been worth it to spend money on. Don't bother, guys. No money spent, squad. Enjoy. I hope you guys can still get him out of one of these gauntlet packs or something. Gauntlet does guarantee you 71 pluses and 81 plus elites. Go play your gauntlet. That could potentially be a free pack. And if you guys haven't already, I have a banger video coming tomorrow on a free way to get some legend fantasy packs. So stay on the lookout for that tomorrow. Turn on that noti bell for that. That could help you potentially get this Randy Moss. I'm out guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Turn on that noti bell. 
Let's get this video to 150 likes. I'm out, guys. Comment down below if you're picking up Randy Moss. See you guys later. I need to go to bed soon. I'm out. Peace.